What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just going to break bad. And in this segment of MTC, we're going to be looking at Medina Transport out of Ravenna, Ohio. Medina Transport has a company position that's available for you. They're a small family-owned company looking for a CDL truck driver with tankers endorsements because you would be driving the tanker milk. Semi-local position, non-hazmat, competitive pay compensation, health, dental, vision, disability, and life insurance, retirement with company match, paid vacations, paid holidays, detention pay, easy pass, driver referral bonuses, company gathers at corporate events, direct deposit, weekly pay, and they need two years of experience. With all that said, let's get into Medina Transport out of Urbana, Ohio. Hold on. Medina Transport. Good morning. How you doing today? Good. How can I help you? All right. Uh, may I speak with a, a recruiter? I thought I I thought I'd take my time while I'm waiting in this long traffic uh to talk to somebody about the information that you guys have on facebook okay this is rachel how can i help you hey rachel okay so um my, my first question uh i guess is uh you, you guys says competitive pay can you like break that down for me as far as what you guys mean by that are you looking at the over the road position or the local position? Uh, well, I guess uh, we could talk about both sides of the coin because on the Facebook page, y'all talking local. But if you got over the road, I guess uh, we could talk about that too. So, uh, where would you like to start first? Um, uh, what what would be easy for you? <laughs> I mean, I'm out of Ohio, so, it, you know, over the road or local, it really doesn't, uh, you know, make a difference. I'm, I guess we could start with over the road. So over the road, would that be more like uh, regional? It's kind of regional. Um, the over the road, we kind of just go where the customers need. But for the most part, our loads consist of, it would basically, kind of be like you load today, you deliver tomorrow, reload with a backhaul and come back and unload somewhere in this general area. Okay, awesome, the awesome. Next day. So, so usually it's... drivers are in several times a week like that, depending on which loads they're on. I mean, we do go to Lake Florida and Texas and things like that, so those are you're going to be out a little longer. Um, for the most part, you usually get at least the 34 hour at home on the weekends kind of just depends on what load you're on, where it would fall. Because if you're like loading out on a Friday to deliver Monday, then you'd have all of Saturday. If you're coming in from somewhere, you might be coming in on a Saturday and then you deliver on Monday. So, okay. I mean, so it you kind of depends on which load you're on and where you're at and what you're doing. <laughs> okay. You you mentioned you you mentioned uh, thirty four. So is it just the thirty four, or would it be uh, my full two days off? So I come in Friday, I'm off Saturday, I'm off Sunday, and then I roll out Monday. Or or let me or let me put it to you this way: I I would have a load on Friday, and that would be delivering on Monday, like where I'm where where I'm living. You know, living at or what? 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 What would that? What would that breakdown cons consist of? It would technically depend on what load you're on. Um, if you load in this area on Friday, mm -hmm. it would deliver. Unless it's one of the farther loads, it would deliver Monday wherever. Um, for instance, like we go to North Carolina. Right. Illinois stuff like that. So basically, you would need to leave Sunday to de live, deliver to deliver wherever deliver on, on Monday. Monday. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So since we talking, you know, since we talking semi-regional, you know, over the road. 
So what what would I be looking at as a uh, as conversation? You know, mileage pay coming in. Okay. We actually don't pay mileage. We pay percentage. Oh. Um. Okay. It is twenty five percent to start, and then after your ninety days, you are eligible for a raise to twenty seven percent of the line haul. Okay. Okay. So we looking so twenty five percent to start. It is that is that based on somebody like you know, with with the one year requirement or is that throughout the whole threshold of people just coming in? That's like standard start. Okay. So anybody with say like fifteen, twenty, they they'll all will all start at twenty five percent. At twenty five, yeah. All right. And then after yeah. ninety days after ninety days is uh, yeah. twenty seven. Okay. Okay, now percentage, uh, that day, that's cool. I uh, say like what, maybe about three, maybe about three, four lows. So I can have a good paycheck. Do we get paid? Uh, do we get paid every every week? Do we get a settlement every week, or yeah, is this we every pay, two weeks? We pay weekly, uh, every Friday. Okay. Um, your first week would be held until you know you work your first week, and then it would be paid the next Friday. Okay. Okay. That awesome. Uh, how how much how and much then, is I I know I mentioned uh you know the one the one year of experience but actually how how much experience do you guys actually require though? Uh, our insurance company usually requires uh, around two years. You have to hold your CDL for at least two years. Okay. <laughs> okay. You you okay? We're not coming down with COVID over there, are we? No, oh, no. I just took a drink and it went down the wrong Gotcha. Wrong pipe. Um on the on the Facebook page it's it looks here that you guys require hazmat. I know you guys require tanker, no. but do you guys require hazmat? No. Okay, so you guys are not the local loads. Okay. The the over the road loads are flatbed conestogas. Mm-hmm. So I mean it's technically flatbed work but the, it has the sliding tarp on the trailer that see there's no real major turping other than pulling it forward or pushing it so open. i'm i'm assuming yeah. i'm assuming with that you got you you guys require us to already have some flatbed training or do you guys do flatbed securement oh uh, we can train on oh. that okay awesome awesome i'm not a Hey, I, I got my tankers sorely because of the fact that I don't want to do flatbed. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, pre- so our local position is the tanker position, and we haul milk. Okay. And it's not hazmat unless you spill it. So, yeah, we don't like it when you spill it. <laughs> I got you. got you. Don't worry about that. I, I try my best to be, a, to be a safe driver out here. Um as far as 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 far as the local position goes, since you mentioned that, is is the pay variance different from uh, from from over the world? Do we still get a yes. percentage pay? No, uh, the local position is more of a flat rate pay based on which load you're doing. Um, each destination has a set pay amount. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have milk seven days a week, 365 days a year. Mm-hmm. So the schedule is a little more flexible on that one. Okay. Um, drivers usually average, usually average between eight and 10 hours a day, depending on where they're going. Like usually the minimum for the day is 185. And it goes up from there. Okay, okay. Unless it's one of the really, really, really short loads, which we try to put them together if we have really short loads, so it's not so it's a better day for you. Gotcha. All right. What about uh for pre-employment? Uh, let's say I you know get approved and all that good stuff. I come in for pre-employment. Do you guys do hair follicles or urine or both? Uh, right now we usually only do the urine test. Oh, okay. Okay, so basically, we already, you know, I, I, my next question, and we already covered that. We mileage pay and then the local pay. Um, the uh, for local, 
I, I'm assuming the equipment that I'll be driving is a day cab. Uh, most likely, we do have some sleepers, but for the most part, the day cabs are on the local. Okay, but for the equipment that I that I would drive over the over the road. Now I'm I'm from Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio. I'm I'm not that far from a diner, so I guess. You know, I'll just come down We're Route 8. In Ravenna. Yeah, or Ravenna. You know, I guess I'll just come down Route 8, park my car at the terminal, and then, you know, do do my thing for the week, and then come back, you know, Friday, hop back in the car, and go back home for the weekend. Uh, but are we able to take the trucks home? Uh, the boss usually prefers them to be here for uh, maintenance. So I got you. Um, something like that, I would have to ask. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, because a lot of a lot of the drivers that's in my Facebook group, you know, some of them, you know, they don't they don't stay here in Ohio. But I'm assuming, being that you guys, your hiring radius will probably might not be out of the, you know, maybe 50, 60, 70 mile range of of where you guys are located. Am I am I right yeah. on that? Uh-huh. Yeah, I kind of I, I kind of figured that because you know I got you know I know guys that's in you know uh, that's in West Virginia, Virginia, and stuff like that. And especially if you know you guys require the car to be at home, it's going to kind of be hard for them to <laughs> you know to travel back and forth. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, the the trucks do they do they have driver cameras in there? Uh, we have dash cam that is outward facing. Okay, okay. Uh, well, being that this is a low, you know, I'll be driving a day cab or something like that. I guess the, you know, being governed is not too much of a, not too much of a question. But for your over the road trucks, what are are they governed or are they open? They're all, all basically governed. They're around seventy two. Depending on the truck. Oh, okay. Seventy-two to seventy-three. Okay. Now, now this sounds like a homey feel kind of company. So, no force dispatch. Um, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Some, um. Well, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. We, if we have the option to give you a choice, mm-hmm. we try to. But there are just gonna be certain times when. This is the load we have, and you're the only one that's here. <laughs> gotcha. Well, you know, I'm I'm so. not I'm not a fan I'm I'm not a fan of the Northeast, so that's that's why you know I have to that's why I have to ask. Well, for the most part, we don't really. Every once in a while, great once in a while, we might get up to Rochester, New York, but for the most part, we don't don't go into New York or any of the New England states. Right. Um, we do go over to Pennsylvania. We do go into Maryland. Oh no! There's Pens- a great they, once in a while. You know, you know, Pennsylvania. They, Jersey, they need to. But- they need to blow that state off the map. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm sorry. Pennsylvania. They. They. Look. They just need to blow Pennsylvania off the map. I, I'm. I'm sorry. I. I cannot stand. Of the states I know of, that would be one I'd pick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, okay, okay. Um are is there is there any guarantee uh is there any guarantee pay that you guys offer if we don't you know and I'm this question is more for the over the road because I'm I'm sure that we got guarantee pay for for local drivers, right? What do you mean like guaranteed pay? Like well, some companies offer like if they don't hit a certain threshold on their on their miles or the percentage or anything like that, they would you know they would have a a guarantee like a thousand dollars guaranteed to them whether they make they you know percentage or not. Currently, we don't have a system like that on either flatbed or. All right. Local. Uh, do you guys offer? Do you guys have a a pet and rider policy? And if so, what's the youngest that I can bring my uh, rider? Uh, usually, the boss doesn't like the kids to go over the road. 
Oh, okay. Um, just because of some of the mills that we go into do not re- allow passengers or people without CDLs. Gotcha. So. What about what um, about your pet? No, but something like a local thing where you're just going to be gone for the day and be back. Mm-hmm. That might be able to be worked out. Okay. What about but, a what 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 about for a pet? What what about a pet? Can can we bring a pet or that's a? Uh, I'll have to double check on that rule. Oh, okay. um, the last time we were allowing pets, we had a two hundred dollar pet deposit. Mm-hmm. So, in case there's like damage to the truck, or right. I mean, in case it yeah, needs you got to clean because we've had some. Yeah, we've had some that didn't didn't clean up after themselves. Gotcha. <laughs> so, All right. Um. I well. I, look. I I definitely definitely appreciate the time. Like I said, I I thought I'd just uh, take this opportunity while. I'm over here on I-59, and there's multiple truck accidents, so we're 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 pretty much sitting here. So I thought uh, I'd give you guys a call. You know, I seen you guys come through my Facebook post, and I went on ahead and uh, told my guys in my Facebook group that I would give you guys a call, and I relay the information over to them. Um, do you have? Uh, do you guys uh, uh, offer uh, SAP drivers? I'm not sure if you know what that means, but it's from the clearinghouse. Do you, do you guys? Uh, it would depend on the circumstance and situation. Okay. So it, it's my boss is a case by case basis. Gotcha. Is there any sign on bonuses? Uh, there is for flatbed. Um, oh, okay. There's a two thousand dollars sign on bonus, mm-hmm. but you have to. It's paid out quarterly. Oh, so okay. at, at your first 90 days, you would get a portion and then so on and so forth. Gotcha. Gotcha. It is, it's not like y'all going to give it to me all at one full swoop. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, hey, thank you very much for your time, man. I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, this is this is definitely something that I might be interested in, because like I said, I, I okay. do have my. I do have my tankers, and plus, like I said, I'm from Cleveland, so I'm not that, I'm I'm not that far from you guys. Say maybe like 45 minutes to an hour, so I wouldn't have a problem, you know, coming into the terminal and you know getting in the truck and then coming back for the weekend and and all that good stuff. So I I really do appreciate okay. I really do appreciate the information. I definitely will share this on my social media with my other drivers that's you know that might be interested as well so well thank you for that and then you're very welcome like i said if you need more information or have more questions or want to set up a time to come in just give us a call back i will do that i will do that thank you very much ma'am thank you all right all right all right medina transport out of ravenna ohio now the conversation that I had with the young lady, which was a beautiful conversation, by the way, it was beautiful. Uh, she answered, you know, answered all of the questions. You know, it's straight to the point. Straight to the point. You, that's what you guys want. Y'all, y'all don't want in-depth conversations no more. Y'all, y'all want straight to the point. So I hope I brought that to you guys. Uh, straight to the point. Um, this company pays percentage. It's 25% of the line haul when you first start. After 90 days, you can get up to 27% of the line haul. Now, a lot of guys, a lot of drivers are interested in percentage pay. They, they feel that instead of chasing the miles with percentage pay, you don't have to, you, you don't have to do that. So over the road, uh, over the road, you you'll be driving flatbed so they do have training they do have securement training but the truck the trailer that you will be driving anyway will be a catastrophe so you don't have to worry about tarping but they will train you to secure the load so that won't be a problem so that's what you'll be doing uh over the road local you'll be you'll you'll be doing milk loads you'll you'll be doing lots and lots of milk loads and with that, that pay variance is different. As she said, you would get um, 
you would get a set amount. Just know that when you get into this company, the first week's paycheck is going to be uh, held up. So that first week, you know, just know to come in with some money. Uh, again, they don't hire out of Ohio. So that's unfortunate. You probably have to live within a certain mile radius of the company to come in. Guys, what you think? Tell me what your thoughts on Medina Transport. And, and if you're a driver or drivers that drive for Medina Transport, let us know of your experience with Medina Transport. As I said in the middle of the conversation, this sounds like a kind of homey, a homey kind of Philly type company. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, go in there and talk to the talk to the owner like a homie. Like, yo, bro, what's going on? How you doing? Whatever, whatever. Uh, unfortunately, you won't be able to take the truck home. Uh, you know, they they want their trust there for maintenance and all that good stuff. And uh, and yeah, and yeah. All right, so that's all I have on Medina Transport out of Ravenna, Ohio. Uh, the information that you might need to get in contact with them will be in the description below. Check them out. Give them a call. Let them know Lockout Men sent you. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me out?